to the Alexandrian Codex. I am Alex. This is the Star Trek New Horizons mod for Stilvaris. We are playing as the Borg. We are very close to building our first pyramid. Whoop. No? Ex excuse me? I was gonna say whoop, there it is, but whoop, there it isn't. A small docking hatch leading to the interior of this asteroid is visible with the rim of a small crater on its surface. The hatch was likely concealed once, but has since been exposed by micrometeorite impacts. How fucking expensive are you, my dude? Explain. I'm seeing 2,955. I have more than 2,955. You're saying, ah, oh, right, because you're wrong about how expensive things are. If I go to the shipyard itself, pyramid is 3,510. The cutting pyramid is the most expensive. But the Nanite Pyramid is the one I want to go with, as it, to me, seems better at supporting our fleet. Once that is done, and I make sure there are no other upgrades we can compel our fleet to partake in, we will move up to Omega, probably move in to incorporate Mica, and be all nice and imperialistic. We can have one more Starbase. I could build one up there, but we're likely going to acquire the Krenum Starbase provided that this war goes well, and I'm banking on it going well. We don't need complete capitulation, but I'd like it. Pirate treasure! The asteroid appears to have been used intermittently by a base of- Okay, it just gives energy, yada yada yada. Trinkets, collective, materials, blah. Ancestral data archives I'm actually excited about. I don't know what I want to replace, but... Well, once we upgrade our hydroponics base to being less terrible, we can rely less on them for our food and replace them with something that will give us, speaking of the devil, hydroponics base. <laughs> replace them with something that will give us research or energy or minerals or anything more useful. Galuntha herd secured. The herd has been brought back to the hub for full assimilation. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. I think the Borg mostly assimilate sentient beings, but hell, if there's a point to incorporating the lesser life forms, why not? Why not? Why not? Sure. That, I know that's the only way to make the flavor even vaguely work with the Borg, but that's kind of, kind of fucking weird, man. All right, so the gunboat section, anti-proton pylons, are the only new tech that we're researching. I'm not feeling like I'm going to want to put those on our ships. I'm generally, generally okay with us using just one big gun per ship, so long as we emphasize making better tracking on our ships should have a negligible impact to our fleet's performance. You are halfway done. Halfway there. Whoa. Living on a prayer. Take my hand and we'll... Ah! A EPS manifold. Make it, I swear. This is all fine, that's delightful, perfect, fantastic, I don't know if this has been upgraded, I'm fairly sure, ah, uh, no, no, paramecium, is that paramecium? Paraceum, not paramecium, that is, <laughs> that is a different thing, but you, nanite projector, everything else though is correct on the auto build, yes, it's absolutely correct, even the EPS manifolds are right, Living armor, adaptive force field, spintronic cores, this is all correct. Oh, it's being built so I can't upgrade it. It'll have to wait. Fair enough. Better mining base. Hell yeah, let's go for power drilling. Give us a 10% bonus to minerals right off the bat. That'll be nine green minerals per month. And it's only going to get better from there. This will slow down our ability to immediately upgrade our fleet as soon as it's done, but this will reinforce our ability to, well, as I was saying, reinforce the fleet once it is completed. It's 
still has oh god a month or more left to go oh three three months left to go better pylons yep physics lab three no contest seemingly erratic behavior of tiny things can dramatically alter the way we think about bigger things sensor echoes have indicated the presence of some kind of unidentified object within the asteroid of this or within the atmosphere of this gas giant ravanok ravanok five I read good. Now with our probes, is it worth- oh god, probes aren't even the things that could get the, uh... The fuck? Is it cones? So I just researched, uh... Gunboat. But none of these can get the gunboat fitting on it. Okay, no, it's fine. Fine. Can't get no gunboats? Totally okay with me. This only costs 157 to upgrade. It is fully upgraded. This is only 2.1k, so we might not be able to take Krenum in this war, not unless we reinforce our fleet and I will be saving up minerals so that we may be able to reinforce or at least upgrade later on. Omega's reinforced, so if they do have equivalent fleet size, their fleet power is inferior to ours, we should be able to beat them in a fair fight. And Trust me, any fight against the Borg is not fair, because you're fighting the fucking Borg. It's gonna take 138 days? No, you normally arrive before your estimated time of arrival. I hope. Yeah, keep... Keep on surveying, my dudes. Find me more primitives. <laughs> I'm a simple man, simple collective. Of one goal and one goal only. The acquisition of primitives. Energy signature, the vessel 0456 has picked up its strange energy signature coming somewhere deep inside the atmosphere of Ravatic 5. It appears to originate from a structure of some kind, possibly the remains of an orbital station, but the atmospheric pressure makes it impossible to approach. Nevertheless, scans of the unique signature have yielded a considerable, valuable a large amount of valuable physics data, which will be added to the collected. More physics is always nice. Really, more of anything is quite nice for us right now. <laughs> Generally, that is the case, though. Generally speaking, more is more. And more is typically better. Depends what the more is of, but typically better. So that fleet is maxed out. I want to create a new fleet. This, we are nine, nine short of our naval capacity. I hate cones. I'll be real with you, I fucking hate cones. But I think cones are a really good fit for this, as I want just more ships to be shot at, to, to take enemy fire, and more small guns to complement our big guns. Scouts seem like the way to go on this. They have... I feel like I should improve their chance to evade more than anything else, as they have the lowest reduction to evasion out of any ships out here. This fleet can be constructed immediately. Cones are fucking dirt cheap. This is only going to be 9, but 9 plus 59 is going to run us up to that 68 limit we hit. I could, and by could I mean probably should, build another starbase as soon as it's affordable in, well, let's say, in Taba, to get more naval, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, to get more anchorage stations out there. These fission reactors are kind of nice. No, they're really nice. We need them. Another naval depot would not be an accident. All right, offensive asset zero zero one. Your mission is to tail a fish. <laughs> Offensive asset 002. The strength of this fleet is 108. These ships are tiny and kind of bad, but they're very fast to build and they're very good at doing what they do, even though what they do is quite specific. Let's go for space superiority. They're fast as hell, too. These are tiny conical, hence cone shapes. Oh, there's only one of you. Where the fuck are the other three? I am building them, correct? Uh, no. Okay. 
<laughs> it's a good thing I caught that before declaring war. Though it's a shame I caught that after building the the base there. Each of these is going to cost about 500. Okay, okay, how can I say? They're that cheap? That seems unusual. So the game is wagging right now because I believe the United Federation of Planets is either from the Federation or the Zindi were just created. One of the two. That's typically what that little hiccup means. Alright, well, I'll wait on more ships. I don't mind too much. Ah, uh, nah. Nah. You are... You have a research agreement with somebody else. I... Fuck you. It assimilated. <laughs> I could wait, but why would I? Let's go take... Benthos I kind of want because... Yeah, let's take Benthos. This is a good proving system to see if we can actually... This is their weakest starbase we can take that isn't around a planet. I'm gonna come back for the planets, but I wanna just take everything else. Docking hatch, yada yada yada. Small docking hatch on the exterior of the asteroid. We've read text like that many times before. Tell me what, buddy, your job is just gonna go to research all those things. Don't talk to me. <laughs> come back, come back later. Reinforcing is probably gonna cost like 600. Five sixty. Okay, close enough. Here's the Bentho system. This has a fleet strength of eight hundred seventy-two. We should be able to take it out without any losses. If we do suffer losses, well, this would be a good way to find out and fall back on a defensive footing. If I can't take them out, they sure as fuck can't take me out. More minerals is delightful. Javanite is very cheap. It's about it. Pulse wave torpedoes. <laughs> Alright, engaging, engaging the spaceport. Spaceports currently just have armor. They do not use shields. As we tear through armor, we're tearing through this and fucking fast at that. Some of our probes have taken damage. They have not moved in to reinforce yet. And by the look of it, I'm not seeing anyone warping in. So we should be able to take this with either no losses or minimal losses. This one probe's getting pretty beaten up, but no losses. Took out that starbase. Nice and clean. Hell, yes. Well, which one of these do I want? Re really, this one is what I want. All right, you're gonna sit there and repair. Go back to Omega to repair. Offensive Acid Zero Zero One will just keep following you. There's no reason to get naggy. That was a proof of concept that I can take a starbase rather than going for an occupied system. Their fleet should be showing up sometime soonish. I hope. That'll give us a chance to hit them. We do have an army. If it'll be big enough or not, well, we'll find out. How much are you repairing? Well, your armor is already... Jesus, look at that. That's really fast. Reinforce and you'll be back up to full. They're giving more naval capacity. That's going to be in about a year and a half. But that will be exceptional once it's done. You are going to be done very soon now that you're at a station. By very soon, I mean you're effectively done. Go to Micah. Let's get our army off of Zenith. Have you move in to Micah as well. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nah, nah. Go to Benthos. Go to Benthos. And you go to Omega. So, we get our first look. They're only using patrol boats, or patrol frigates, or Boris class. They have light chroniton cannons, so the the Krenum are very, very, very well built to fight the Borg. They start out with chroniton and temporal weapons. As we found out towards the end of our Federation campaign, chroniton and temporal weapons do a fuck ton of armor damage. So, as the Borg, you are incentivized to take them out early before they can become a reasonable, meaningful threat to you. I'm just trying to find the Herogen at this point to see how much more we can do growing in the south. Our fleet strength more than doubles theirs. On the whole, our everything is better than theirs. Hostile fleet coming in, you have transport fleets, that won't make a world of difference. 
You're moving in to engage this, which might hold you up. You're not moving in to engage. You're going to fly by. You, you dog. You dastardly dog. Well, I'll catch you. We're faster. We're like significantly faster. Might catch up to them in the next system, but your transports are not going to be so lucky. Again, just saving up minerals, even though we now have access to better hydroponics. It can wait. Wonder where they're going. Entava? Trachea? Let's have you go home. Yeah, that's the way to do it. You need to go home as well, just so they can't pick you off for whatever minor victory they're going for. We now have new torpedoes. Thank you. Q plasma torpedoes are a thing we could make. Plasma torpedoes are very good. Whole damage. Not so great against armor or shields. I'd rather go for inertia and manipulation and just clear that cheaper tank out. Yeah, you're going for this starbase. Weird. You're going for the upgrading starbase. That kind of makes sense. If you can knock out an upgrading starbase, then you can deny me not only the starbase, but the upgrade and the cost of the upgrade as well. But I think that starbase is going to put up a decent fight on its own. And you're going to be locked in there, which is a stupid, stupid call. You just, you literally put yourself between a rock and a hard place. Ah, cowards. Cowards. <laughs> All right, Kobali. Now Mika. Mika's gonna be the closest one, unless I'm feeling gutsy enough to go for Krenum, and I am. If they're retreating anywhere, they're gonna go to Krenum itself. I'm gonna jump into system to see if we have the fleet strength to take it out. We may, we may not, but I want to be in system to at least take a look at it. And be able to size it up for myself. For Donnell. Danelle. Mac Danelle. He was in there. Offensive assets. 001 is now fully reinforced. 300 strength. That brings total fleet strength up to... 2.3k, that's almost enough to take out one of these comfortably. Ours has a strength of 3.3k, but theirs may not. Once we jump in system, we'll find out. Our transports probably won't be enough to take an entire homeworld, but you never know. Get a better reinforced cutting beam, quite tempting. Shield and armor penetration is great. Anti-matter gun is cool. Uh, only armor damage, less hull damage. Nah, that actually seems horrible. Transwarp Conduit is going to improve all our ships. What do I want? Better offensive capability or better maneuverability? I want better offensive capability right now. Sustained cutting beams have proven a worthy investment. Increasing our efficiency at assimilating hundreds of new species. Well, I don't know about that. A study of assimilated vessels built from these materials have suggested that a combination of improvements will be required. We should begin by adding additional power distribution nodes to the cutting beam to increase peak power availability. In eight months, six months, we will have our, oh uh, yeah, Intaba station is now online. Throw down some more naval depots. We are getting up to a point where we are going to have energy upkeep problems in the future if we don't keep an eye on that. However, I do have population I can move around to, especially down here from research onto energy producing tiles instead, so that's something we can play around with. Right now I really want to pump up our naval capacity so that I can just wipe all this out, assimilate all of this, and just keep on the warpath. Turtling is generally a good strategy to a point, but if you have the special mechanics that the board do, you are regularly, actively, emphatically reminded to expand. And here the idiots are already moving out. This is very stupid of them. Their starbase only has a strength of 2.4k, so we can probably take that out regardless. Hello, we found the Zal Technocracy, who are, well, trading with the Krenum. But they're not allied. Keep a look on this fight. If we suffer any losses, I do not mind retreating and repairing because I can afford to rebuild probably better than they can. Ah, they're reinforcing. Probably won't matter much. We're looking at raw damage output 
these numbers, hull output, hull damage is really significantly more important than armor or shield damage, because this is killing ships, this is just getting ships ready to kill. Crash ship, sure, go ahead and research that. A vessel of some kind is crashed into the surface of asteroid 4327. Wreckage from the craft can be found in the impact crater. We should be able to take this out. No problem. We're still at 2.4k. We've lost the cone, it looks like. But we have not lost any probes, nor have we lost the pyramid. I'm going to go ahead, press ahead on this, go ahead, reinforce. I think we can take that out without suffering significant losses. We will suffer losses, but I think it's worth it. Adaptive armor plating. Living armor is based upon living hull technology. However, armor and hull have different functions and are situated in different areas of our vessels. Living armor technology must diverge from our hull technology in order to be improved. The first adaptation being explored is to change the composition of the armor plating during combat, tailoring it to the weapons being used against us. In two months, our naval capacity is going to significantly jump, and I may make Offensive Asset 001 into a second version of Offensive Asset 002, though more likely if I have access to all the minerals from taking out this civilization, and I believe we will, I will instead opt for a fleet of big ol' pyramid ships because I think that's fucking cool. Transwarp communication is cool. It gives us nanites. I'm not really that crazy about it. We're not going to use it immediately, so I'm just going to go for party competition theory. Even though it's not super useful for us right now, it might be in the future. Yeah, fleet destroyed. Never mind. Ah, you were reinforcing that, huh? Well, go around and on that. <laughs> Still have not lost any probes. Cargo act secure. Transport fleet. Why don't you go ahead, enter orbit of Krenum Prime. Crest Scout Craft gives us some engineering output. It's not bad. What? Attacking Transport Fleet 1. Don't you fucking dare. No, 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 no. You go here. <laughs> you go You go right here, and you don't fucking move. Let that suicide against the Starbase, and then you move into Reinforce. How's this going? We lost one probe. But they just lost their abilities to field a fleet. Now, I want you to stay in Krenum. I would love for you to get reinforced, though. Quite expensive to reinforce those ships. 1k each, goddamn. Alright, that seems to have withdrawn. You move up to Krenum Prime, enter orbit. What is the army composition looking like here? Easily, easily defeatable. I don't even need a general. The Krenum are interesting there's industries natural physicists they have really cool unique technologies that they start out with well they start out with some temporal technologies which is a really great advantage but they're not strong and they're not borg and their defensive armies are going to fucking crumble underneath our transport fleets here so offensive asset 001 i think can go the way of the dodo uh, and we can save up for more and more expensive fleets using pyramids from here on out. Oh, there's the Kravik Imperative. Good boys. So the Kravik, I'm thrilled Demos to go after because the the, uh, the traits Kravik have, machine, logic engine, mass produce, chronodynamic reactor, don't go away when they are assimilated, making them really, really fucking good drones. Uh, we can't build more, which is a shame, but they're really powerful. The Krenum are not going to be particularly amazing drones, but trust me, them, the, uh, the Krenum are my jam. Let's go fuck up Kobali. I don't need to occupy all these worlds, but I would like to take the star bases out before you can build anything to reinforce what you have. Party competition theory is done. Interstellar logistics I'm very excited about. Be able to make our first fleet even bigger and our reinforcing fleet even better. Fleet manager... This can go fuck itself, basically. <laughs> to, to put it politely, I do not care about that anymore. I thought the extra buff might be useful, and they did. They served a great purpose in dying, but we have big, sturdy, badass ships. We don't need to be building little ships that can die instead of our bigger ships. We should just have ships that don't die. 
All right, we are in the orbit of Krenum. Land armies now. Size 23 planet might be worth keeping. We're actually taking reasonable amounts of damage. We're going to take the planet, but I think we're going to suffer some losses. Oh, maybe not. Well, we'll find out. We are in combat here. We are not going to suffer any losses, if I'm right about that. Our negative balance is a thing. Remember how I said I could fix that? Fixed. It's not a long-term solution, but it's a workable solution for now. This should just melt. After it's down, we'll go ahead and reinforce. Boom, Krenum is ours. They're not happy. I don't fucking care. I... This is a size 23 planet. You are currently being assimilated. Once you're assimilated, I'll take a look at if I want Krenum Prime or if I want to abandon it. Right now, I don't know. These have all been fully repaired. Fantastic. Why don't you move down to Kavali 2? Kavali 2 is a size 13 planet. Even after being assimilated, I do not want it. Here we go. Krenum Assimilation. The Collective has assimilated individuals from the Krenum species. For the first time, their biological distinctiveness has been added to our own. 2,000 unity, 500 of each kind of research. So we're going to pause, take advantage of these new traditions, get uh, ship cost reduction by 15%. That's amazing. And wow, that's all we can afford. So our, our, our unity cost for things has inflated fairly significantly by the number of colonies we have, which is something we can keep an eye on, the number of systems we have, more so the number of traditions we have. Ah! We are over our starbase capacity. No problem. Targasoids acquired. Pencil. Yeah, I want you to move up to Krenum. We're... We don't have these two yet, but we are well on our way to securing them. I'm optimistic that soon they will be ours. So you're just going to stay in orbit here, repair once you're fully repaired. Probably more when Kovali falls. Nah, fuck it. Go, go repair somewhere else. If you think it's faster to leave and come back, it might be. Nah, just chill out. Chill out. Never mind. I was wrong. Just sit here and repair. Kovali 2 probably won't fall for a little while anyway. Kabali 3. Kabali 2, Kabali 3, potato, potato. We have two Borg here. We have a bunch of Krenum trying to reproduce. They're not going to have much luck. Just improved another Krenum. Uh, let's get army upkeep reduced. That's only going to get us a little bit of power, but we're going to be building bigger and bigger armies. And more I'm doing it for the Power Hub and Power Hub 2 Unity Output improvements. Adaptive armor is great. Dio Cobalt Charge. More hull damage. Or Plasma Torpedo. A lot more hull damage. Truth be told, I'm not crazy about either of them. I'm going to go for Mineral Silo. You are done. I just keep on exploring. Mm hmm. Your reinforcement still hasn't shown up, has it? Where is it? Some Benthos? Let's say once Benthos gets over here, when Offensive Asset 003 merges into 002, we'll be ready to move on down to the next system. Especially if Kabali 3 has already been occupied at that time. We'll be more than happy to get up, get on up out of here. Kabali 3, I didn't even bother to check the armies. Yep, we'll beat them. I still kind of want to assign a leader to this because we came mighty close to losing one of our armies last time. If we do lose one, we have, we can reinforce from very nearby, but I'd rather just be able to not reinforce at all. Is that going to be possible here? Crash ship. We've read that text before. Take a look. Holiday. What are you doing? You're going down here. So holiday, why don't you survey that, survey that, survey that. Planetary Invasion complete. Kobali 2, or 3, has been captured. We are at high war exhaustion. What? Explain this. Destruction. Destroyed, passed by neutrons, swept base, learn stored, 
Enforce or nano assimilated pop. Ah, okay. How soon can you force a status quo? We can be forced to make peace 24 months after reaching high war exhaustion. So 716 days until they can force us to peace. All right, well. Better hurry this <laughs> shit up then. Uh, Gennett Kavali, can you build me? You can. These are identical. Uh, Krenum. Drone army, drone army. You're all in the neighborhood. Geneth is sort of in the neighborhood, not too far away. Get me two more of those. That'll do. I'm gonna run our fleet ragged doing this, but I should be able to take out these three worlds, which will cause them to capitulate and us to win the war. It's not going to be quick, it's not going to be easy or free, but it should be doable. Oh, hey, you want a peace offer? You can go fuck yourself. I have 24 months of war with you left to go. Building cost reduction. Now let's go for the power hub one. Doesn't have any effect right now, but it might before too long. Fleet manager. All right, this, you're going down to one of these. I actually want none of these in the long run. Pyramid, pyramid. I can't even fit three in here. 23 each? Yeah, can't even do that. Give me another nanite pyramid, I guess. <laughs> And if that's the case, go ahead, give me a bunch of probes, because this is working out fairly well. Uh, no, 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 just, just let this wait, because we are researching something to increase our fleet command limit. We could get a fleet of all pyramid ships on top of our probe fleet. I'd be really into that. This is going to be close, truth be told. I can take all three of these, and it, it's still going to be close. You should head on. Come on down! Assigning you a leader might make you perform better, but it might be unnecessary as well. How many more months? 24 months. Oh, 24 months after reaching high war exhaustion, so we actually have 600-ish days, give or take. Or freighter, improved output, that's fine. Improved cutting beam, that's great. Station power generators, pretty tempting. Yeah, our power output's kind of sucking right now. Let's go for that. It's not sexy, but it's useful. This 2.4k strength fleet should be even better at not suffering any losses, taking out these mere 9k fleet strength outposts. Yeah, these three rendezvous here. I'm not going to wait up for them, but they should let us take planets a little bit faster. Oh, fleet destroyed, who cares? I mean I kinda care, but it's not a it's not a crushing loss. Fleet command limit improved, that's why I was waiting on. Engineered moral codes, sure why not? It's not super exciting, but that's okay. Fleet manager, you antiquated, you hey, hey, would you like a pyramid? Plexus pyramid lets us take less armor piercing. Now that's assuming this is assuming the uh the Plexus, if I pulled up. The Plexus type assumes that their armor penetration is a thing at all, which is kind of a leap. It is a proactive defense, but it might be an unnecessary one. The Cutting Pyramid, on the other hand, is fully offensive and will always be useful. So circumstantially, given a choice between the two, I'm gonna go with Cutting Pyramid. I know we can't afford it yet, and we probably won't be able to afford it by the end of the war, but I'm still going with it. Even if we could afford it right now, I think it probably wouldn't be built in the next 515 days and be able to reach the front lines in time. That being the case, I still want it. So, Pro Vessel 0062 is looking a little rough. I'm gonna have you move up here and repair while you're in system, but how many days does that take? Oh, let's see, 200 days. Fuck, I might not have enough time to actually take everything. Land on Micah. You, 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 you. Right click here. Reinforce it if you can. If you can't, that's fine. If you can, that's great. I would really like these to not die, but if I have to run this fleet into the ground to ensure I get what I want here, I might do that. By that I mean I'm definitely going to do that. So, going from... Dorado to here. How long would that take? 
just ballpark it, 300 days. So this reinforcing with probes would take three or 400 days. Now I don't want this in the long run to have probes, but I can right now afford probes. So I'm going to say I want four more probes in this fleet just so I can click that reinforce fleet button. It'll take 120 days for the probes to be built. It'll take like another 300, give or take, for them to get up there. So they might not be useful at all, but they might at the same time. And I'm holding out on that might. All right. Let's make buildings cheaper. We are invading. Cool, cool. Go ahead and do that. Micah, how's this going? Once this is cleared, I'm going to go ahead and attack that next starbase. So your wave ward is clear. Synthetic dilithium manufactories will be really important to us, actually. Energy credits. Yeah, warp speed, though. Mm. Yeah, let's go with deep space industry to get more sweet, sweet dilithium. Mica 2 will be done here shortly at 400 days if it hasn't started. So by the end of the month, now just wait for it. Wait for it, be patient, Alex. You have one year left. Exactly one year left. Go for this. I need to take one one entry every 180 days to keep the momentum. You all get in orbit there. Fuck, we're not going to make this happen. Nano West Transport Fleet 1. Uh, it'll be very, very close. Very, very close. I have no idea if I can actually make this happen or not. I'll get damn close, but... I think I've taken just a little too long. Unless the jump from Kendron to Anthara is a lot faster, and it might be. Well, you two are close enough. Why don't you just jump to Kendron or Anthara and I'll wait for you there. Omega... Yeah, you're getting there. You're getting there. Not enough span of time that's making me happy, but you are getting there. Yeah, unemployment. How big is this planet? 19? Get out of here. <laughs> go go somewhere else. Uh, Unicomplex Alpha. Got better things for you to do. Resettle. Oh, you don't have a planetary administration. Hawkward. Really? I can't? Oh, there's a pop already growing there. That's why I can't do that. Yeah, yeah. Resettle that. And then none of you are the right species, so I don't care. Once you're deforgified, we can move you around and micro a little bit more. But today is not that day. Alright, Kendron, done. Let's move on to Anthara. You probably... Actually, how are you doing? I, I mean, you probably shouldn't move on it. Let's go ahead and reinforce anyway. You might be able to take it, regardless of how wise or unwise it might be to try to take it. That being said, you two enter orbit here because I need this size 4 fleet to enter orbit and take it. You, 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 you. Yeah. That will make annexing Kendron system faster than taking Mika and Kobali and Krenum, so we have a decent shot at it, just not as decent as I would like. Do I want Positron cannons? 50% more armor damage? Tempting, but transwarp conduits, because we're going into peace after this, probably the way to go. We've discovered that the interfold layers between normal space and subspace contain numerous roaming high-energy subspace oscillations. Theoretically, bombarding an oscillation with triaxillating tetrions will amplify it, causing a low-energy distortion to form. As this distortion weakens the separation between normal space and subspace, it should allow easier access, access, access to transwarp space. And you give me a transwarp communication array. Transwarp communications allow rapid communication data transmission between far-flung colonies and species, increasing the rate in which we can expand across new worlds. Yeah, as soon as you're there, just fucking go for it. We cannot afford any delay at this point as much as I would like to wait. I do not feel comfortable waiting. Kendrin's armies are what? There's three, so that's two... And as soon as this fucker's in orbit, we've met the Herogen. The Herogen are, as I said, right here. Should probably micro our science ships. Yeah, our science ships are looking for direction right now. Go survey that. Tubs, you go survey that. And that'll do. No, this one in the Kendrin system. We are very, very close to having all three in orbit. Do, 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 do. Get in orbit. Get in orbit. Here we go. Attack. We have 
219 days to finish this attack, move on to the next planet, and attack there. That might not be enough time. It might be, but I'm leaning towards it probably not being enough. I need you to move here. You are rendezvousing in Anthara. Good. You are rendezvousing in Kendrin. I want you to go ahead and change your plans to move to Anthara. More army should make this go faster, but I don't know how much faster it'll make it happen. Atmospheric anomaly. Da 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 da. Kendrin should fall very quickly. Having more boots on the ground should make this even faster. We have 194 days to occupy Kendrin and Anthara. Five, four, three, two, one, done. All right, that's been capitulated. We have 173 days. You have not all embarked. I have to wait one more tick. There you go. Actually, they had embarked, so I didn't have to wait that suboptimal play, streamer. Suboptimal play. All right, you all have 60 days until you arrive. This is the important one. 117 days. 117 days to arrive gives you two months to take in Thara 3, which should be completely doable and not at all a problem. And I don't mean that sarcastically. I think we've integrated or annexed the Krenim right now. The remaining opposition is in trying to grab any more of their outposts by the end of the war. Crossley A appeals to me. It's 600 or 12, 213 days out. This is 116. We could potentially take the Mari system. Crossley will just die. Extreme storms on Bartholomew 3 gives better physics output. Yeah, lots of lots of angry population. I know. I know you're not happy. You can resettle somewhere bigger. Alpha zero one is uh, full up though, right? Nope. <laughs> Never mind. Kendrin two, Micah, ah, Micah two, get out of there. Now this is full up now. So, Geneth can use some reinforcing. Get resettled, yo. Mike is done. Kendrin is being assimilated. Kobali is fully assimilated, and I want no one here, so let's get all you fuckers off of Kobali so I can abandon this. Delightful. Resettle. Now Kobali's completely gone. Oh, Alright. Message incoming. Message can go fuck itself. Oh, uh, hey, peace offer. No. No. <laughs> I microbe too hard to <laughs> accept the peace offer. Superconducted power transmissions increases the yield of Colony Harvest Mega Project, which we still haven't used and I may not use because I don't fully understand it. And if I don't understand it, therefore, I don't trust it. I don't like it. Uh, uh I, I don't actually care. Oh, do, 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 do. World cheaper? Nah, sensor range? Nah, naval capacity? You know, honestly, I'm real tempted to go for naval capacity here. Uh, fleet command limit. This I know is useful. Fleet maneuvers will allow me to stick with one real big fleet. I'm pretty happy with that. Even though it's a little early, it's really early to be picking that up. I'm okay with it. So there's two of you in orbit. What's your combat strength? 28, 28. And garrison strength at 108. We're gonna have to wait for reinforcements. Damn it. Hurry up, you fools! We only have 85 days. You are nearing orbit. You will be in orbit in X amount of time. You are not telling me when exactly. So that's three, four. I'm waiting for the big fleet. I'm waiting for the big fleet because it will be faster. And is that... Pause? Go? Go? Enter orbit. You fuck boys. What is you doing? Enter orbit. One. All right. You... You were just right-clicked on the space near here. That'll be fine. And how long do we have to take this? 34 days. One month. It's gonna be... gonna be close. No, it isn't. It's already a third of the way over. Has it been 10 days? Uh, nine? Six? Five? <laughs> Fuck, we're not gonna take it. No. No. Oh, thank God. Oh. Holy fuck. That was very close. <laughs> the Krenim are gone, though. 
Alright, you can repair it. Wait, go home. Any of these excess probes I don't actually want anymore? Ha ha ha! <laughs> Hallelujah! Alright, so that's, uh, that's how you... <laughs> painfully, rapidly integrate a species that doesn't want to be integrated. So you can only grab so many planets at a time. The game tries to balance it out by going like, Whoa, hey, it seems like you're eating too many population. Maybe you, uh, need to slow down and come back later. But if you tell the game, politely, to go fuck itself, you can... <laughs> The world is your oyster. Geneth, again, is where I want you to move. Resettle you there. Micah should now be abandoned. Absolutely, we are back down to our number of... Our correct number of core systems. You have some mining outposts and research stations to build. You, my dude, have some mining stations to make up here as well. Now, our Krenum pop are almost as big as our population of our Borg. And now we're up close to the Zal, and they are just straight up inferior. Weaker fleet, lower naval capacity, prime targets. It looks like you're going all the way back to Omega to repair, so this, to me, further emphasizes the importance of having very durable, long-term ships, big ships, basically, that can stay in a fight and keep fucking fighting because that way you don't have to ever come back to repair you don't have to send for reinforcements you can just knock out their star bases in quick succession land armies take their planets and be on your merry fucking way it's a pity that omega is our closest station but that's okay no nah, no nah, no nah. do am i keeping krenum i'm keeping krenum it's an old capital planet so it's a it's a feather in our cap for that reason alone and it's a big planet so that's worth it as well all right let's resettle more of you over to geneth thara kendrin now krenum itself Oh, all right, so Ganeth, we can actually start building some buildings on here. Fucking weird, right? Ah, oh, this is exciting. <laughs> Transwarp communication array. Now we might actually build one of those. Naval capacity or leader, empire leader capacity. Empire leader capacity could be nice. Getting us a general to help improve the assimilation of new planets and species. But I'm thinking naval capacity. It's really hard for me to argue against just throwing bigger and bigger fleets at them. Armies, even without leaders, do fine. I kind of hate the planetary invasion mechanics in Stellaris. I feel like you should just have a Sword of the Stars method where certain ships can bombard planets and land troops and that's enough. Like capital ships, so that it's pushed back planetary annexation into late game anyway. Not Sword of the Stars, sorry, I'm thinking of Sins of a Solar Empire. I would really like a Sins of a Solar Empire. Sins of the? No, a Solar Empire model of uh, planetary conquest. But for now, I will withhold my hopes and dreams for change or nitpicky criticisms <laughs> however you want to interpret that habit as and instead improve this fucking rock dope 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 Did you, you have ships reinforcing you inbound correct yeah quite a few of them that's done cool we could have torpedo launch bay facilities but these are for star bases i will not be doing that repurpose modular whole material not really going to be taking advantage of that crazy high uh, material capacity, but that's okay. I was talking about upgrading our food facilities so that we would be able to transition into not needing as many hydroponic bays. And, well, that's the dream. Go ahead and improve our energy output as well to keep up with increasing fleet demands. And more science is always good. Really just upgrade all the things. 
I'm making up reasons for why we should upgrade all the things, but fuck, it's kind of self-evident. Upgrade all the things. Our fleets, our fleet, not S, not plural, has plenty of upgrades we can pop down on it. Uh, next matter, next stage, antimatter energy weapon. I suppose we should go for this. Anti-proton weaponry breakthrough. Our weapon technology has served us well. The development of new forms of firing mechanisms has given us a choice. Developments in covariant resonance <laughs> resistant phase modulators can be used as a linchpin of anti-proton weapons. Alternatively, breakthroughs in industrial plasma compression and containment technology can be copied and adapted to create highly compressed proton cannons. One will be better against shields, one will be better against armor, I think, will probably be the difference. Think things are rough now. Oh, I thought this was called rougher. Is that rudder? Ah. I was gonna say things are gonna get rougher, but uh. Nope. Nope. No jokes. Atmospheric. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Zol technocracy. It's. I'm probably going to want to build star bases connecting their space to ours before moving on them. They are the closest to us, a lot closer than the Herogen, and the Herogen do not expand very quickly. They're going to be fairly weak for a while, so I'm not feeling too pressed on that front. So you have a total of nine probes and one pair. I would love for you to get another cutting and plexus. You can afford that? And another probe? And another two probes? Fuck yes! Hell yes! Reinforce that shit. Wait a minute. That's gonna be too many. It's gonna get us at naval capacity. Hey, you're only making one, right? Yeah, okay, cool. That'll get us right above where a naval capacity is supposed to be. Not a huge deal. But worth keeping an eye on. Can I build anything here? Traffic control. Oh, fuck. Synthetic dilithium manufactories. These are expensive, but they're very nice. They're very, very nice. I should really look at improving our energy output. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we are. We are looking at improving our energy output by relocating these board from smaller planets to bigger planets, we will be better able to... centralize our industry, reducing upkeep and other costs. Uh, you're not doing anything right now. Wait, wait until this is done. Oh, hold the phone. Wait, one month. Yeah, there we go. Now, I actually have better buildings I can make you use. Well, make you. Get you to you. Never mind, I don't. Guess <laughs> Here's some power plants, boys. I guess this is what you're doing now. Krenum, we're keeping. And Thara, I am not keeping. Everything has been assimilated here. Time to resettle to get it. And the last one is going to Krenum Prime. Going right... Here. My food output is fine, game. Quit telling me it's not. I don't believe you. By that I mean I refuse to believe you. I will not listen. So Krenum Prime is our only other planet now. That dropped us to being able to pop up a new tradition. What sounds nice? Synchronicity does not improve our unity output in any regard. There's some very nice bonuses here, but not what I want. Versatility... I believe, yeah, unity output increased by 2% per unique strategic resource up to a maximum of plus 30%. Now, we currently have a grand total of zero strategic resources, but that's a number that can grow. This will give us unity, which will make it easier, more affordable to pick up more systems in the, uh, more traditions in the future. Resilience has some nice shit going for it, though. If we command limit... Damage against the Undine, Admiral level cap going up, Starbase capacity going up, increased army damage by 25%, increased fire rate by 5%, increased core systems by 5 Resilience is crazy good. Not going for it. Assimilation, real fucking good. 
I'm going for versatility. This is going to give us food requirement for every pop minus 15%. That's going to take care of our waxing, waning food problem and allow us to concentrate on what we are doing. Now, it looks like we do not have a planetary... Yeah, capital here right now. She can only build a mineral node. Wah wow. Okay, well, that'll get dressed up. Or addressed. Dressed up, addressed. Meaning very different things. It's fine. Alright, so we secure this new space, and then we'll be gunning for the Zal next. Jevonite jewelry, right? Yeah, Jevonite, why not? Soul core secured, and then there's just these and Anthara left. No problem at all. Our science ships are getting in some really good experience. <laughs> It's a pity we haven't found more primitive worlds, because seriously, I would be so happy to stumble across those if they're basically free, free everything. You are telling me that a structure here can be upgraded. I am not seeing a structure here that can be upgraded. Lies, game. Lies. Falsehoods and lies. Krenum has finished its construction. Move down to the Kobali system. Build it. Shit there 20 credits that's not enough for me to feel comfortable in oh i i lied this hydroponic bay can be upgraded that's okay it can wait too and by that i mean it should wait i want to switch over to synthetic dilithium but we're already not at our naval capacity and i'm having to save up just to get closer to hit it anyhow so maybe I should slow my roll a little bit. Die Cobalt. Nope. Better engineering labs. Always the right choice. Always, always, always. Is this new descriptive text? Or have I just not... Huh. Let's see. Recognized it before. Better scientists. What the fuck? Hello, I'm a giant planet. <laughs> fun, fun graphical issue. Does that go away? Ah, oh, it will eventually. That has nothing to do with the mod. That's just a problem that Stellaris has occasionally and has had since the game came out. Still gone largely unaddressed. Land clearance on Krenum Prime. These fuckers were making the planet bigger? You shouldn't have. Wait, land clearance or... No, land clearance is the one that makes tile blocker removal cheaper. Not the one that makes, uh... Makes the planet one size bigger. Maybe it is, and we just didn't get it? We'll find out. So you are... <laughs> you have a recently conquered happiness modifier. But hey, guess what? Happiness doesn't affect us at all, so I don't care, and you don't care, even though you think that you're supposed to care. It's all gravy. This will be able... Oh, yep, it's already upgrading. Zal have declared the Krabic to be their rival. Cool, cool. I am unconcerned by the affairs of lesser races. Lesser species, I should say. Races don't like that connotation. We are full up on nanites, though. Capacity overload? Nah, production targets. Give me more energy. Er, energy. Materials. Minerals! Uh, reducing our consumer good cost is huge, and I didn't know that healthcare reforms were a thing the Borg still got. We should be running this from the beginning of the game. This increases our population growth speed, which is, as mentioned, pretty big for the Borg. Pretty big. There's Prey War Auxiliary. The Prey War, we actually border. Was gonna <laughs> you fools. So we don't have to be... Oh, well. Grabbing Crossway like you just did. We don't have to be moving on the Zol. The Prey War are like one, two jumps. They only have two planets. This would be very easy. And they don't have any allies, <laughs> or naval capacity, 
Hmm, what do I want on top of that? More fleet command limits. <laughs> I, I can already not feel the the arm the fleet. Make it bigger. Oh, maybe improve uh, improve some other things. Nah, bigger fleet. Better guns for the fleet. Okay. Open. Ah. Uh... All right. That's a bug report. Open knitting transwarp communication. This should just have one in, so there's a problem. There's a typo in the localization file here. This is really not a big problem. Transwarp communication protocol with main administrative node. Report from data archive T45 located in sector B6. Title Assimilated Technologies. Main node accumulation of data resources in local archive has reached a key potential in the field of antimatter based space to space weaponry. Space to space, I think, should be. Uh, all capitalized? Right. Air to air. No. No, it's actually correct. Even though an anti-air missile is... It just... The first A is capitalized, but not the second. Really? That's weird. Oh, actually, in this context, it shouldn't be capitalized at all. Nope. Wrong window. Screenshot that, too. That's a typo. Or, that's a typo. That's grammatically incorrect. I'm starting to take screenshots of this just so I don't whine, and instead I can submit bug reports like a normal person go like, Hey, this is a small problem. You might want to fix this. It's not a big deal. Uh, local network reports a 98.9% possibility, possibility of adapting the development for greater use in the collective. However, resources are insufficient to pursue all avenues of development. Input is required in order to divest said resources. Comply. Tunneling proton beams, anti-photon beams. You don't tell me what they do. <laughs> All right, well, they're they're presumably physics tech, right? So let's let's take a look here. Field manipulations, nah. Well, I, actually, oh god, I. I think it was particles? Particles makes sense. Let's go specialization particles. Beam ores, deflector fields, laser weaponry. That looks pulse cannons, beam modulators, cutting, 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 cutting beams. Enhanced cutting beam, reinforced cutting beam, modulated cutting beam, harmonic cut. No. What was the name of the stack? God damn it. The name of this tech was Anti-Proton Weaponry Breakthrough. So presumably this will be under Anti-Proton. Uh, Anti-Proton Breakthrough. Anti-Proton Beam or Tunneling Proton Beam. Okay, anti-proton beam, as the wonderful text here is saying, is shield piercing, whereas tunneling proton beam is armor piercing. Both end up doing the same thing. Ah, there I am. And, hmm. Well, what do our current weapons do? So, anti-proton is shield, tunneling is armor. That is actually kind of intuitive. Oh, well. What are we currently using? As a comparison, cutting beams are just great at both, but could use some more shield penetration. Most species will use shields rather than army, so let's go with anti-army armor. So let's go with anti-photon beams. Anti-photon beams are good. Okay, they're not really that good. Well, it's been about another hour. <laughs> um, so I'm going to put in a cut here. Thanks for hanging out. I'm going to keep streaming for the next two hours, so there's going to be at least two more episodes in the series. This is fun, but it's really, really easy, and like I was saying, if the Borg aren't out there, I don't think we have a big bad to fight against at the end of the game. I could start this over at a much harder difficulty, Grand Admiral, and give it a try, but even then, you'll see us just snowballing out of control really quickly that or our neighbors having completely unfair advantages so let me know what you think in the comments definitely give me feedback on this it's a fun species definitely check it out on your own it's really gratifying just to be able to fucking steamroll over the galaxy check it out it's a great mod um i'll have more up tomorrow thanks for hanging out 
I'll see you then. Till then, toodaloo. Bye-bye.